So one of the problems that we see in Marquette County is the increasing corporatization of the service industry. You know, when I was a kid, you could buy anything you needed locally, and now you can't buy toilet paper without driving outside of the city limits and going to an out-of-state corporate chain store. The county government system regulates all of that, so it's completely outside the realm of like a city commissioner's ability to regulate. We lose tax dollars based on it. We lose property taxes based on it. Um, is that just, is, is, is the, are, are we seeing like uh, an entropy cycle with increased corporatization? Like, because it seems like the same problems that we're running into with the service industry now mirror the problems that we had with mining industries four or five and six decades ago. Yeah, the wall, Walmartization of, of, of retail, and that, I mean, that's uh, doing serious damage even to uh, locally owned supermarkets uh, because they're, they're now the dominant food buyer in the, in the nation and food distributor. Uh, no, that, I mean, that is, uh, uh, that is distressing, that, that whole model, uh, both its implications for uh, 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 independent enterprise uh, for workers and, you know, low-paid jobs and, you know, really <coughs> efforts to benefit from getting benefits, etc. Uh, there, there are other forces afoot, too, uh, that, uh, you know, some people dismiss as uh, boutique, uh, but the, the blossoming of, of, of uh, independent bakeries, you know, uh, the retreat from, from Wonder Bread to, you know, every city of any size having, you know, uh, uh, at least a handful of bakeries. So Missoula probably has two dozen bakeries. 